Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we are going to compare two budget smartphones, the Coolpad Note 3 with the Lenovo YP1M. So these two phones are in the budget category with the Coolpad Note 3 priced 899 while the Lenovo YP1M priced 799. So these two devices have a lot of differences in the hardware, software and the features being offered. So let's have a quick look at them and see which, is, which device is better buy. So the Coolpad Note 3 comes uh, with a 5.5 inch HD display. It's powered by an octa chipset with a 3 gigs of RAM and a Android 5.1 Lollipop. And uh, this has a 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel friend combination uh, cameras and uh, there is also 3000 milliamp per battery. And the important aspect about this device is the fingerprint scanner which is first of its kind on a budget smartphone. This is also probably one of the few devices with 3 gigs of RAM below uh, 10,000 rupees. And uh, this comes uh, with uh, a custom uh, cool UI on top of Android 5.1. So that was the spec aspect of uh, the Coolpad uh, uh, Note 3. Now moving on to the Lenovo YP1M. This uh, phone is known for a great battery life. It has a 4000 mAh battery capacity. It has a 5 inch HD display. It's powered by a quad core uh, chipset from MediaTek with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage. The camera on this device is an 8 megapixel shooter with LED flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. So that is the spec aspect of these two devices. Now let's go into the detailed aspects. So first step, let's see the design and build quality. So design wise, we would say the Coolpad Note 3 is a decent looking device. Uh, it's a fairly decent design. You can see the curved edges, the matte finish on the rear panel looks pretty good. The fingerprint uh, scanner and the camera neatly arranged. So all in all, this is a fairly good looking device in this price point. But the device is not really thin or lightweight. So it might not be really easy to get uh, used to this device. Unless you use it for a quite long time, it might not be really the compact device you're looking for. But all in all, uh, this device has a pretty good design. You can see uh, the black coloring across the bezels uh, making a device uh, look pretty good. So that is the design aspect of the Coolpad Note 3. Now talking about the uh, design and build quality of the YP1M. So you can see the rear panel has a uh, completely different design. Uh, it, it's a matte finish again. You can see the camera and the flash unit arranged neatly. The Vibe logo, the uh, chrome finishing on the sides, although it's made of plastic, we have this chrome finishing, Lenovo branding. So all in all, it's a fairly good looking device again. But uh, again, this is uh, not uh, the slimmest or the um, lightest uh, device, 5 inch devices available. So all in all, both these devices have decent uh, looking designs and build quality also looks pretty decent. So there is no real uh, winner here. Both these devices are uh, pretty thick and uh, heavy and um, uh, it's it's a personal choice on whether you like the Coolpad Note 3 or the, um, uh, the Lenovo YP1M. Now moving on to the display. So both these devices have HD display, that 720p display, while the Coolpad Note 3 has a 5.5 inch display, the Lenovo YP1M has 5 inch display. The display on the Coolpad Note 3 is pretty vibrant and colorful but uh, the outdoor visibility is not really that great. The test response is also pretty decent and uh, the viewing angles are also decent. So all in all uh, the display on the uh, the Coolpad Note 3 is a fairly good uh, display in this price point. Now talking about the YP1M, so here again we have HD display but it's a 5 inch display. So the pixels per inch is uh, higher on uh, the Lenovo YP1M and this really shows up. Uh, you can see the display is much more sharper looking than the Coolpad Note 3 and it's also much more colorful and vivid. Uh, and uh, the touch response is also pretty decent. The viewing angles are again really good. So all in all, in the display aspect, we would say uh, the Lenovo YP1M has slight uh, edge over the Coolpad Note 3 in terms of the overall display quality. So that is the display aspect. Now moving on to the software and performance. So here we have a, a lot of differences. The Coolpad Note 3 runs uh, Android uh, 5.1 with uh, the cool UI. This is uh, a completely custom UI. You can see uh, the customized notifications and uh, lots of uh, additional options. We have theme, a lot of uh, apps are included like record of uh, calculator, FM radio, memo app. Then uh, we have uh, different options including fingerprint lock. We have a fingerprint scanner, first of its kind on a budget smartphone. The fingerprint scanner can be used to unlock a device and uh, do a lot of other stuff. You can also access, uh, you can also use the fingerprint scanner to lock apps. That's again a pretty useful feature. So these are some other useful aspects about uh, the Coolpad Note 3. So the performance wise, this is a really good uh, performing device. 
uh, with great gaming abilities the, the gaming experience was really a good no lag or issues and uh, excellent gaming abilities with the 3 gigs of ram and 16 gigs of internal storage which is again expandable the phone also comes with dual uh, sim card support and 4g lte capabilities so all in all the cool pad note 3 is a really performing device with 3 gigs of ram and android 5.1 lollipop now talking about the performance of um, software of the lenovo yp one m this is again a custom uh, ui the yp ui 3.0 with uh, android 5.1 uh, lollipop this has 2 gigs of ram and is powered by a quad core chipset the overall performance looks pretty decent not much of issues uh, or lag the gaming experience was again decent not really that great when compared to the cool pad note 3 which has terrific gaming experience also the smaller display doesn't really make great gaming experience so all in all in the gaming experience we would say the cool pad note 3 is better and the performance wise this also comes with 16 gigabyte in storage which is expandable and there is uh, 4g lte support with dual sim card so in that aspect both these devices are pretty good the core quality on both these devices are pretty decent so uh, not much to choose there so all in all in the software and performance we would say the cool pad note 3 with 3 gigabyte ram and fingerprint uh, scanner uh, is much better than the lenovo yp1m so the yp1m isn't a bad device here it is definitely a performing device but when compared to the cool pad note 3 it loses out on the overall experience now talking about the camera so both these devices have a uh, different camera specifications so uh, you can see that uh, the cool pad note 3 has a 13 megapixel rear camera while the lenovo yp1m has uh, an 8 megapixel shooter both these devices have a uh, led flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera now the camera options are much better on the uh, and then also the interface is much better on the cool pad note 3 and uh, talking about uh, the camera uh, qualities you can see some of the sample shots here we would see the cool pad note 3 with a 13 megapixel shooter has been better sharpness and overall clarity uh, than the Lenovo YP1M which just uh, has an 8 megapixel shooter. Even the front facing camera we would say the cool pad Note 3 is much better. And uh, again the video recording the cool pad Note 3 offers 1080p while the Lenovo YP1M offers just 720p uh, video recording. So all in all in uh, the video and camera abilities the cool pad Note 3 excels uh, uh, and is much better choice than the Lenovo YP1M. Now talking about the battery. So here again, uh, the Lenovo YP1M is uh, um, known for its battery life. It has a 4000 mAh battery, while the CoolPad Note 3 has a 3000 mAh battery. The CoolPad Note 3 does have a great cam battery uh, life and you can easily get more than a day of usage with this 3000 mAh battery. But the Lenovo YP1M has much better battery life. Almost uh, two days of battery life easily you can get with this device. So uh, if you're looking for great battery experience, uh, the Lenovo YP1M is the better choice here. So that was a detailed comparison. Now device prices, uh, the cool pad note is priced 899 while the Lenovo YP1M is 799 So there is a difference between uh, these two devices, almost 1K difference, so which is a better choice here. If you're not really worried about uh, uh, two days of battery life, we would definitely suggest you to pick the CoolPad Note 3. It has great uh, uh, experience while gaming the 3 gigabyte RAM and also uh, there is fingerprint scanner and a bigger display along with a bet slightly better design. And now if you're looking for a, a great uh, battery life, uh, if you're a traveler and you want a more, than a, more than two days of battery life, then the Lenovo YP1M is a good choice and it's also cheaper by 1K. So that is a detailed comparison of these two devices. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.